everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we are going to be doing my least favorite books of 2021. Okay, so first of all, I am not as prepared to do my least favorite books as I was for my reading wrap up and my favorite books of 2021. I am just not prepared. I got distracted. I didn't do it. Lo Siento, I really only wanted to do five. And I think I read like nine or 10 books in the two, two, four star, two, two, three star category. So I'm trying to find the two star. Oh, perfect. It's right there. I read Twisted Lies, Dirty Secrets, book one by Sedona Venez. It has a 3.91 star rating on Goodreads. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, it's, it's 102 pages and it is a novella, but like it more reads as like the first three chapters in a book. It does not read as a novella. It does not make any sense. It was just written poorly. Poorly. I don't care how captivating or like dark reads it is. It is just written, written poorly in my opinion. Like, I mean, like, I feel like people just got distracted because like the first pages of them, you know, are of them like, are doing it in the library but like it does not read as a novella it reads like the first few chapters in a book they were like you know what let's leak this and let's see what happens okay didn't enjoy it yeah ha <laughs> um i apparently gave three stars to a christmas book her pretend christmas date by cider not by cider <laughs> The Cider Bar's Sisters, Cider Bar Sisters, number 2.5 by Jackie Lau. Um, oh, okay. I'm surprised I gave this book three stars. I mean, I'm not surprised, but like I am. It was a novella, 121 pages. Um, basically, it's a fake boyfriend relationship. Um... And I guess I, I probably just didn't like the way it was written or or they probably didn't like, I don't know. I gave it three stars, which means it's not terrible, but it just, it wasn't, it probably, it just didn't hit the mark for me. Okay. Just didn't hit the mark. Like four is a good hit the mark. Five is like, ha ah, can I read you again? Um, wow. I gave... These other two books, Tasting Her Honey Pot by J.P. Brooks. I know, it already sounds like it should be great. It's like a collection of stories. They're just short. Honestly, it's like short erotic fiction, like let's be honest. And I think I just didn't like that because they were just short and it really, they didn't even all go together. They were very different for each one. Um, and... You know, if you just needed to read something just to like know, just to have something to read or to, you know, get a little, get a little smutty about, probably good, but whatever. And Daddy's Best Friend, an age gap, an age gap baby romance, Forbidden Temptations by Sophia T. Summers. I told you that I was doing age gap romances last year. I don't really remember. Probably why it's three stars. I mean, it was probably written well, but it just, it wasn't, I don't know, probably not enough drama for what I needed in my life <laughs> at the time. Uh, let's see. Oof, you know what? Let's just go with, y'all know I love me some Ken Wright, like don't play. But this Escape, the Vampire King trilogy. Bro, super short. I gave it three stars. I would probably give the whole series three stars. Okay, like, it's just not that great. Like, it's okay, but it's not that great. I think I gave the first book four stars and the last two three stars. Okay. And I feel like the problem was we also didn't get the answer to the questions that were asked. And, <laughs> like, it just, ugh. This is why I'm so bad at doing, like, least favorite books. Because, like, they're just sometimes just so bad. Hmm, that sounds good, but I gave it three stars. 
You know what? Prob is it a novella? Yes, it's a novella. So I'm seeing a trend here. I'm seeing a trend here. It's the novellas. And I don't know, maybe it's my mindset that isn't that isn't figuring it out that it's a novella, so it's a short story. But like I read a whole series, Phase Captive, one, two, three, and four, and two out of the four, including the first one, I gave three stars to. But the other two, I get four stars too. So I don't know what the difference was in between the two. I literally read them in the day, the whole series in a day. So I don't know what the difference was between the two that I enjoyed. But mm, probably was lacking some bit of story or thing that needed to be done in this short amount of time. So, ugh. You know what say? Let's see, anything else that just earn me. Love Repair Number One by Nia Arthurs. Three stars. This is not, it's kind of a novella, 241 pages. I guess that's not a novella, that's like a book, but I don't really know where the cutoff is for novellas. Oh, I remember this. Um, oh. It is angsty, an angsty marriage reconciliation romance with a hot tatted husband and the gorgeous wife who demands his all. I think I gave this a three stars because it has the worst trope of all. It's worse than miscommunication. It's no communication, zero communication. And then on top of the zero communication, hidden secrets that like if you had just spilled your secrets, we probably wouldn't be here where you are thinking about divorce and moving out of your own house. But what do I know? What do I know? So yeah, three stars. I remember that. I remember thinking that the husband was right. Hot AF, right? I was like, tattoo, there's something about any book. Normally, if there's any man who has like, who is a tattoo artist, I have no idea why. Do not ask me why. I enjoy tattoo artist books, knowing good and damn well my tattoo artist is a female. Maybe that's why I chose a female tattoo artist. <laughs> so I wouldn't be sitting there thinking about the books I read. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, I'm married. Is he gonna take me on the stable right now? Am I gonna let it happen? I mean, Eric's totally here with me. Are we all gonna do it? Oh my God, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> this is why I don't, I didn't need to be back on YouTube. Don't need to be back. I think that's it guys. So yeah, we'll end with that little tidbit into my brain cause that was too much. <laughs> That was too much. So guys, those, those were <laughs> my least favorite reads of 2021. It seems like there might've been a theme of novellas that pissed me off. Ugh. Can't win them all, but I really wish we would have won more of the novellas. We did not. So, we're gonna have to deal with that. <laughs> Just gonna have to deal with that. Um, but anyway, guys, that's it for me. That's it for me. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on all of the social medias. Don't forget to hit that like button and that bell notification button. And until next time, Keep turning the pages.